A conference by an Islamic group got a lot of press this weekend, but it was not all good. Yeah, a lot of it was bad, in fact. And there is a group here in Chicago working to improve relationships with Muslim residents. Ahmed Rehab is with the Chicago Council on American Islamic Relations. Thanks for being here. What was your thoughts when you first heard about this group coming here to the Chicago area? They've been around since 1953. They're not a new group. They're, they don't operate underground. They're not secretive. So it wasn't too much of a But this surprise. is their first meeting here on U.S. soil, That's right? That's correct. So, you know, there, there was the question, what is it about now that makes them come out into the open in this manner? They've always been in the open, but not with this kind of conference. So I was a little surprised by that. What really took me by surprise was the title of the conference, The Fall of Capitalism and the Rise of Islam. As a Muslim, I don't believe that capitalism and Islam are mutually ex exclusive. They're actually uh, pretty much similar. Uh, so the economic system within Islam is free capitalism with a conscience. So they're not mutually exclusive. So I was a little upset by that, by that title. What is the uh, what kind of uh, reaction or response have you heard among your friends, among your peers? Well, uh, you know, like I said, they've been around for so many years, but they remain marginal. The great uh, majority of Chicago Muslims and American Muslims do not subscribe to their philosophy. So um, it's, it's a marginal group, and, and the reaction was it will remain marginal. In, in the conference. big picture, do you think that hurts their actions, hurts what you're trying to do? Unfortunately, there are those who confuse things together and who will project the philosophy of this group on all American Muslims, mm -hmm. that may hurt a little, but I think for the most part, Americans are fair-minded and understand that this philosophy is not one that most Muslims share. Uh, we believe in uh, citizenship, we believe in voting, we believe in our constitution. Um, CARE, for example, works very hard to engage in civic uh, uh, engagement and political mobilization for the community. So I don't think it will have a long-term effect. Yeah, and they even mentioned, too, that some of their goals were to create this, this empire under Islam. They, they don't believe in the Holocaust. I mean, these are just, I'm looking at some of the points they wanted to make. They don't believe in the Holocaust. They think that Israel should be wiped off the face of the map. Two terrorists were connected to this organization. Uh, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, mastermind behind the 9-11 attacks, as well as Abu Musab al-Zarqawi, who is one of the, and used to be one of the uh, top officials for al-Qaeda. Now, that's not the message you guys are trying to, obviously, portray. What do you think they can do or what you guys can teach to help improve relations even with Israel and with, and with Jewish Americans? Well, I mean, what we do is independent of what they do. So we, we don't have to do anything new or different. Uh, what we've been doing is pretty much engaging all faith communities around our common citizenship, our constitution. Uh, but to be fair, in fairness to them, both of these terrorists that you mentioned uh, were not involved with this organization when they committed their acts of terror. They had left the organization. This organization has been on the record privately and publicly condemning terrorism in the uh, strangest of forms. And there is no evidence to suggest that they are in any way related to terrorism or extremism <laughs> but certainly uh, of that, that sort. I mean, there's that perception, though. And yeah. it's a perception that's harder to beat sometimes in reality. Mm -hmm. And i got to tell you, as a pretty fair-minded individual, I was a little taken aback by these folks being here in Oak Lawn. And I think a lot of people out there share those views. Right. Their philosophy is one that will cause that type of reaction. But we ha there's a fine line between a philosophy that falls within freedom of speech that most people are averse to, that they have visceral reaction against, and a philosophy that is violent in nature and terroristic in nature, which the Hezbo Tahrir's philosophy is not according to them and according to the FBI and the CIA because they have not placed them on their terror or any type of watch list that I know of. All right. Well, we appreciate you joining us yes. this morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank Ahmed you very much. Rehab with the Chicago Council on American Islamic Relations.